My goodness, dear ones, it's the start of a new cycle. I don't know about you, but I love new cycles. I love the opportunity to begin again and to choose freshly into my future and also complete sometimes the layers of the past that carry forward with us sometimes. So I wanted to just tune in here to all of you across all of our circles and just say how incredible it truly is to be in a global community of beings discovering our own self-expression and our own voices, finding our way in the world, each one of us with our own great work, and also the great work that we have together as Musea. So first I just want to say welcome to this year to this cycle, to this space, and to a continued experience of traveling the wheel of the year together. In Red Thread Cafe, I toast you, all of you, all of our members, our students, our guests, our faculty, our teachers, our collaborators, most especially all of our guild, and those that are coming this year into the gathering, which is Musea and Intentional Creativity, to us. <laughs> I'm starting this year with a pretty tangly ball of red thread, uh, if you could call it that. <laughs> um, this is a red thread, which was actually shorn and spindled and dyed by an incredible elder in the Bodega Bay area. And I got it directly from her hands. And uh, we started a circle the other evening and it was in a perfect big loop, but as it got passed around, it became like this. So this seems like, but it's just delicious. It's just a hot mess. It's just fantastic. So it seems like an actually wonderful um, way to extend red thread to you in this moment to say that here, the legends of the red thread are that we're already connected. That I am called to this circle and you are called to this circle. That each one of us has our own unique piece of the red thread to carry and be responsible for and to, and that we agree to witness and share stories with one another. And so in that spirit, in that red thread, I'm inviting you into an inquiry for yourself about your self-expression for 2023. I invite you to imagine I'm passing this red thread. I'm gonna just like pass it to you. Okay, ready? Okay. You got it. Hold on to it. I've got mine on right here. I'm inviting you to Take a look at the expanse of the year in front of you and consider what kinds of self-expression do you want included in the year? Do you want to paint, draw, write, do ritual, sew, pot, weave, car, hand, tool? What are the gifts of self-expression that you want to cultivate this year? And then I wonder if you might be willing to do something completely outrageous, which I do every year, which is to book out creative time throughout the entire rest of the year. For those of you who are part of the university or part of the museum membership, you already have received a whole bunch of times to be with us as community. 
But now is this time for you to choose for you. What would it be like to go right now, either to your digital or physical calendar or a big paper one on the wall and mark out time for the muse? It is a wonderful thing for our consciousness to become aware that we're booking out time for ourselves and that we're taking it seriously. For those of you who are Musea members, who are a part of our $10 level or our $22 level or a guild level, then we have a theme of the Creative Sanctuary. And if you're not a member, feel free to join us. So that theme of Creative Sanctuary is inside of the membership. But it really applies to all of us as a whole in the community as we think about what does our creative time mean for us? One of our art ancestors, Suhoya Sellers, said, Our artwork is sacred because we as human beings are sacred. Therefore, necessarily, our art is sacred. And so for each one of you in this moment, will you choose to take some time for you in the studio? And as you likely know, for me, this includes Red Thread Cafe time, where I'm literally taking time every single day to have tea or coffee in the morning, sometimes happy hour in the evening, a time to be quiet, be gentle, read, write, think, pray, be in conversation with loved ones. So this is my invitation and my New Year welcome to everybody here in our community. There's no way to tell you what I actually feel about you and about us. There's no words for it. I can't even paint a picture with it. It's a feeling. It's effervescent. It's luminous. It's palpable. And it's a form of love that wakes me up in the morning and wanting to come and serve and be with you. I wish we could sit together right now and have a, have a cup up between us, but for now, to you, to us, to Musea as a whole. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, you, you.